this free video tutorial from mographplus.com. Make sure to visit our website and check out our premium courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Arnold Render, Maxwell, V-Ray and much more. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to mographplus.com. It's Hezri here with you. And uh, in this lesson, I just want to share with you a shader ball scene. As you can see, this is the famous shader ball scene from masteringcgi.com.au that they have produced it for VR for 3ds Max. And this is the version that I have ported out to Arnold for 3ds Max. So you can test out your uh, Arnold shaders a lot easier. Now, uh, I have two lighting set up in this particular scene that you can switch between them very easily. So in the if I press A to open up my environment and effect window and go to my material editor by pressing M, you can see we have this switch RGBA map and this is the map that has been connected to the environment map. And uh, we have two inputs here for our two lighting setup. The first HDRA has been connected to input zero and the second one has been connected to input one. And you can use this index value to switch between those two. So if I actually run the active shade here, you can see by default we have the lighting from the first HDRI, but I can simply switch to the second HDRI by uh, changing the index value to one. So this is our second HDRI and this is our first HDRI, right? And when you are using the second HDRI, you have some additional lighting that you can turn it on. So we have the cylinder light on the right side, so you can see its reflection here. And we have this uh, let me just turn it on so you can actually see its reflection there you go and we have this sphere light so you can turn it on which is a point light uh, with radius set to one centimeter so we get some uh, nice sharp uh, reflections if you want to test out some uh, materials and shaders with high specular reflection and glossiness now in this case let me just turn this two lights up and in order to obviously assign your uh, materials, you just need to double click on this shader ball main and uh, in the material editor, create your Arnold standard surface or any other shader that you want. Right click, assign, and now you can interactively change the shader that you want to create, right? Okay. In the active shade, uh, the render settings are pretty low, so you can test out your shaders a bit quicker. You can see we have three camera samples, two uh, diffuse specular and transmission samples. But if you want, uh, you can change this or simply go to the production render for higher quality render settings. You can see the camera sample is set to five and diffuse specular and transmission samples are set to four. Obviously, you need to adjust this based on the scene that you are working with. Also, uh, I think the original scene has some depth of field going on, but uh, to get a quicker feedback, I've actually disabled depth of field from the physical camera. So you can actually turn on uh, depth of field if you want to get some depth of field. So, and control the amount of depth of field using this F-stop value here. You can see we have this depth of field going on, but I think it would be a bit easier to have it turned off when you're actually testing out your shaders. Uh, so that's about this scene. You can uh, find the link to download the scene in the description uh, below. Also, a lot of people have been asking us about our upcoming Arnold for 3ds Max course. Uh, we have been working on it very hard. We have uh, finished the recording of the uh, sampling and ray depth section, the lighting section. Uh, the material section is probably going to be done in a few days. So I think in three weeks, we are going to have our course ready, hopefully. So keep an eye on mographplus.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Vimeo to get the latest news about our ultimate introduction to Arnold for 3ds Max course. Thank you guys. See you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching this free video tutorial from mographplus.com. Make sure to visit our website and check out our premium courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Arnold Render, Maxwell, V-Ray and much more. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.